okay so welcome to part three of the photo gallery website with django so this is part three in this part three i'm gonna start to, we're gonna start with templates understand so we're gonna start right now so every, everything is looking ugly it's very soon it's gonna look super beautiful so we are still so we are still on the way understand so no so in the views of the wi-fi because see now we have been returning some http response but that's not the best way so normally we should be, normally we should be returning a template understand so I'm gonna explain how this stuff works now. So I'm gonna remove this stuff now and change this to render. Return render. You can see render has been imported on top on default. You understand? It has been there from the beginning. So I'm gonna remove this contents here. So now remove this stuff now. So I'm gonna put in. So once we once render a template, so I'm gonna simply do request. So request. So our template has not been created so i'm going to create some templates right now so this is how we do it now so i'm going to go down to my photo app understand the photo app now instead of this photo app, i'm going to create a new directory called templates so now create a new directory a new folder called templates so templates in plural instance so after i've done that again i'm going to create another folder in my template folder so this folder is going to be called the name of our app which is photo app so right click on templates new folder and i'm going to simply do photo app enter so now it has been done now so now we can now create our template inside of this photo app that is inside of templates instead so right click new file i'm going to call this phone home.html home.html enter the second one is going to be about.html new file about this is our template.html enter and the last one is contacts right contacts.html enter so now we have our three templates now for all, we created a folder called templates in the photo app after that again you have to get another folder inside of templates and this folder and this folder is going to be called the name of our app which is the photo app that has been done so i'm going to close i'm going to close this three template now so close the views of wi-fi now so now we are going to return a template and it's going to be called photo app slash home.html so the photo app which is this stuff slash home.html home.html understand so that has been done do the same thing again for this one so i'm going to remove the contents now put in requests and the template is going to be called photo app photo app slash about dot html and i'm gonna do the same thing down here just simply copy this stuff and change this to contacts instead got your c paste it here paste here change this to render the http is going to be render now render and this one is going to be record render render so now i'm going to put in contact.html now contact.html so that's it now so now i'm going to open these three templates now so now simply create an h1 tag h1 or let's call it h3 h3 tag and just simply do what's happening it should auto so just simply now i'm going to simply run this is the home page this is the home page so now this is our home.html i'm going to simply copy this now and paste in the others templates so now we're gonna copy paste it here. I'm gonna change this is the con this is the contact page, contacts page, and for the about page, do the same thing, paste here. This is the about page. So that's it now. So now we have these three pages now. So now we go down to the browser. So now currently we are now we are now return we are returning templates now, we understand. So now the browser refresh because we have this is the about page which is now smaller because we are using h3 tags this time if i go down to the home page we're going to the home page now you're going to see this is the home page oh what's going wrong because see we have an error on the top there that's because if you check closely for the home page on the viewers of Wi-Fi. So for the home for the home function for the home page we, we have an empty string and I went to add home 
that was wrong so i'm going to remove the home now and enter you can see how this is the home page you can see now we're using templates now you can see from the view we are using templates and we are, we, we, we are not even using the response the http response again we are now using templates we are, so now i'm going to remove this stuff so now that's it now so now after we've done this now i want to explain something to you guys so there's a website i'm open i open here yeah, this website is called gmail.com it's, it's a nigerian e-commerce platform so now this website you check something we have this header and we have the footer you understand so now we are on the home page so if i click it if i click on the particular product now so i'm going to click on let's say oh, this product i'm going to them alone then let's click on any of the products now so I click on the, you just watch it's kind of loading so i've got i saw I, I clicked on the project now and we're on the detail page of the project so you see we have we still have the same header and scroll down we have the same footer you understand so you can see we have this particular header and the footer all throughout the pages you understand so if i click on so another product now so click on this product now so you're going to see the same thing again this header and footer are all across the old pages you understand this, I'm going to explain this phenomenon to you guys right here now. So when we have something that is common throughout the old pages, like the header and the footer that's been that is common throughout the old pages, and we are going to do something about that. Understand? So when we have something like that, we are going to simply create a root or a base template that's going to hold those things that are common. Understand? So I'm going to show you how it's been implemented. So now, so now this is it now. Just simply, I'm going to close this up now. Close this up okay now this is how it's being done so open our open the photo app the photo app that owns our templates so now i'm going to create a new i'm going to create a new template called base.html base.html so enter so in this base.html i'm going to simply put in the header and the footer the navbar and the footer and the stance so now this is how i'm going to do it right now i'm going to simply do h1 i'm going to simply say navbar I don't know why this thing is not to or to closing the tags each because h1 so now i'm going to do the same thing copy this stuff and put down Control v footer footer i'm going to call this one on top header So now we have the header and the footer that's nice so now what i want to do now is this i want to make sure that this header and footer which is this is not going to be common throughout the old pages in the stand so i'm going to make sure that this other template the home the contact and the about i'm going to make sure that that they inherit from our base.html our base.html has the header and the footer they need in the stand so this is going to be done now so now after we've done this now we're going to simply do something we're going to simply do block content block content so now we're going to make sure we close this block you know let me say end block what am i doing and block so that's been done now i'm going to simply so we have the block content and the end block so we're going to go down to the home.html I'm going to also put all this stuff inside of a block and the end block content in the stance. So now I'm going to put the content of these pages instead of that content we created. So now I'm going to put a block content of these pages also. Block content. And I'm going to simply do end block. End block. So do the same thing for the about.html so i don't that's for the about.html currently you can see so now i'm going to simply copy this do this for the contact page also i'm going to close some stuff here contact page close here just by five here's my contact page open this contact page now i'm going to paste this here move this one and change this to contact page so now after I've done this now, we're going to the we're going to the base.html. You can see we have the end block here created, and I'm going to simply put some h1 tag inside of this. Let's just say I'm going to simply say hello world here. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that this header and footer 
are across the whole pages we have across the home.html the about.html and the content.html right so now i'm going to go down to the home.html and we're going to simply have to we're going to inherit the content of the base.html so you understand so after we so after we, after we've tried to inherit it what we have here what we have here because we have this blog content so the content of this blogs in the other template is going to be taken from here and placed inside of here you understand so that's what this does you get so now i'm going to simply come here and let's try and inherit from the base of html so i'm going to simply do this command this is called extend this is called extend so we are going to say extend base dot html to save so i'm going to copy this stuff and paste along on all the other templates we have on the home about and contact templates paste it there save your work after you've pasted on we should be on top right on top at the very top so so save your work and come down the contact dot html should also be on top so paste and save your work so go to the browser now so refresh this page oh it says template does not exist base.html so what did i call it again so who, who can tell me who, who can tell me my mistake i would love to know my who can tell me the mistake the mistake is simple you can see this base.html is created instead of the photo app in some of this folder called photo app in the stand so i need to refer i need to say photo app slash you get photo app slash that's a mistake so just copy this now control c which is at the top so we've copied it control c so i'm going to paste it around the other template control v save your work and control v to so save i'm going to the browser again once more refresh you can see now we have the header we have the footer in the stand so if i go down to the about page oh about so i spelled about wrongly enter you can see we have the header we have the footer we got the header on top of the footer below so if i go down to the contact page everything just works fine you get so now this now is still looking ugly we don't have an actual real header and footer as we move on we're going to have a perfect website in the stand so because we have the header and the footer everything is fine but what i just did here is not actually it's not actually the best way of putting this base template alongside the the smaller template the best way to do this is simply i'm going to put a new folder in and i'm going to put a new folder in the main directory so a new folder called templates this is the best way template so this folder template is not in any other this folder called templates is a standalone folder it is not it is not in the app it's a standalone folder you can see instead of the app you have another template folder but for this base of html i need to create a standalone template folder for it so now now after that i'm going to simply create a file instead of it's called base.html so that's it now so after we've done this now instead of us using this so now you can see we have a standalone template with the content called the base of html so now i'm going to simply come down here copy this content ctrl c so copy after we've done that now i'm going to delete the templates itself delete we don't need that one again so it has been deleted so now i'm going to, I'm going to go down to the to this one we have here so paste this stuff inside here so now after we've done this now Put down to the, each of the each of those pages now we're going to remove this photo app because it's no longer the template is in that the base of html is in, is in is in a different location now so i'm going to remove the photo app we once added okay if you watch closely if you watch closely i want you to understand this story. you can see we have this template after the template you have the file itself there was no other folder in there you can see so we don't need the photo app anymore so now after we've done this now Remove the photo app. So keep removing the photo app, and I think that's all for now. So now 
we've done that already so close this stuff so one, so the next step is this now i want to make sure that django knows about this template so this template django does not, django does not know about the template django is does not know anything about the template so now i want to make sure that django knows uh, knows about this template so we're going to we're going to go down to settings of PyFi. so i'm going to scroll down to where we have this template we have because we have if we have this template now because we have this that we have this key called directories dirx so now inside here now we're going to simply come down here and point to the base directory you know, let me say base there base directory slash templates this template we created here instance so this is going to make sure that django knows about the template you just created so base directory slash templates templates so that's it now so that so you can see Django knows about the template you just created you understand so that's it now so why do, so you remember asking why do, I have, why do I have to do this this is because this template we have here the base of HTML it is a global template we, whereby all other any other page we have is going to inherit the header and the footer so to make this template a standalone template so that other pages can in edits because we're going to have more than one app in this project we're going to have about two or three apps for the project so i want to make sure that this page of html is accessible to all the other apps we are going to get created instead so now so after we've done this now it has been configured in the in the settings of pi fi so now we're going to the browser now refresh the page everything should still work fine the same way it is refresh the page you can see refreshing there's no error go down to the home page remove the stuff enter no error no mistake go down to the about page enter everything works in perfectly fine so we have come to the end of part three of the series so do it to subscribe like and share the video so we'll see you in the next video